Hey, what's up everyone? This is Phil Ebener with VideoSchoolOnline.com. Today we are talking about putting text on a path. So this is something that you can actually create some pretty interesting uh, motion graphics with if you want to make some circular text uh, animation intro or something like that like you're seeing on the screen or if you want to get wacky and create some sort of roller coaster you know loop or whatever you can basically do whatever you want because you can create whatever type of path you want so I'm going to show you how I did this okay so in After Effects just start a new composition five seconds is fine I'm gonna start at a new background just command Y to bring up the um, the comp uh, new solid I'm just going to create something pretty cool I like this color a lot I was wearing a t-shirt that was this color uh, earlier I'm going to lock that layer so I don't mess it up then I'm just going to create some cool text visit video school online.com for videos awesome that's a redundant sentence right there but whatever okay so say you have your text right here how did I create that sort of circle intro from before well I created a mask using the ellipse tool up here so get your ellipse tool and then create a circle a perfect circle by holding shift down while you create this okay so now I'm going to move this mask so the bottom is kinda of where the bottom of the screen is alright but wait where'd our text go you might be asking yourself, well, let's find it. So underneath our text, twirly down thing, I go down to path options, and now under path, you will see this drop down menu that usually has none checked. But now, whoop de doo, there is mask number one. Now hit that, and you will see that the mask is, or the text is on this mask, but we can't really see it yet and it's kind of not exactly what we want so but you can move it by changing this margin so change this margin and you'll see your text appear but wait when I bring it up it's kind of upside down so I'm going to reverse this path okay so then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it all fits on the screen and I uh, that's pretty cool we can create some cool uh, motion and intro text intros with this so it's uh, and then basically you just have to keyframe this there's some other things that you can play around with like perpendicular to path I mean if you like some sort of I don't know where you would create need this but maybe you will uh, force alignment off on um, this basically uh, makes the text uh, it sticks it to a certain point on the path um, so and you can kinda change it and you can make it uh, look as cool as you want that could be a cool sort of intro as well editing these keyframes to make it sort of spring on to the frame but we're not gonna play with that so I'm gonna say force alignment off and then I'm just gonna bring it back up to the top so this is kind of our resting point where we want it to end. So I'm just going to go, you know, about a second into this animation, set a keyframe for first margin. Then I'm going to go back to the beginning and make it go backwards off the screen. And then I'm going to go forward to two seconds and copy the second keyframe so it stays there. And then I'm going to go to three seconds and instead of copying this first margin because if I do that what happens is it it's gonna go backwards I'm going to move it forwards even more so it goes all the way off the screen like so so now we have the basic motion of it coming on the screen but I always want to make it a little bit interesting more interesting so I'm going to easy ease these using function F9 on my Mac keyboard and then go into the graph editor and just make this a little bit more interesting make it, make it look like it's popping on and off the screen so something like this is kinda cool maybe I'll have the motion just start really fast and then I'll have it end really fast as well so it really slows into that spot that's kinda cool so there you have 
the circle. And basically the same premise, the same thing goes for uh, duplicating this on any path, but you can just kind of create your own. So I'm just going to take this text again. Hey, you are awesome. Please subscribe. Okay, so that is some cool text. And now I'm just going to actually hide that text first. Then I'm going to create a custom path using the pen tool. So I'm just going to click around. Maybe I'll do some sort of loop-de-loop. -loop. And there you go. Make this 100% again. All right, so then again, I'm going to go over under the text, twirl these down, and under path options, turn it to mask one. Now you can see how it gets a little funky, so I'm just going to edit these mass points to make this loop look a little bit more uh, loopy. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, and then something like this. And yeah, that's going to look pretty cool. So then again, I'm going to reverse path so it's on the outside. Actually, I don't know if I want it on the outside or not. Actually, no, I don't. I want it to end up like that. So I'm just going to change the first margin so that it goes all the way off. And you can see you, you can move it all the way off your path. Even though your my path doesn't extend past the screen, I can still animate it, the first margin off the screen. So I'm going to set that first keyframe. Then I'm going to have it go all the way around this loop-de-loop. -loop, stop there copy this keyframe, go forward a little bit, and make it go off the screen. So then I'm going to easy ease these. Let's see what it looks like. You have this awesome text animation of your text flying in in a loop-de-loop. -loop. It reminds me of a Hot Wheels car. I can go in and play with the speed of these graphs you know, a little bit more and change how fast things are you know, moving on to my screen. So something like this, woo, that's pretty darn cool. Okay, so thanks for watching. You are awesome, as the text implies. And please subscribe wherever you're watching this. Like it, share it. And uh, if you have any questions, shoot me a message at videoschoolonline.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another tutorial. Bye.